be my preparation for the finale, which is the Miss Malaysia 2011. I'm I'm wearing uh, uh, what do you call that? It's a uh, what do you call that? It's like half dress and half blouse. It's an Indian kind of suit because because the team is one Malaysia. So basically, I'm the usher there at, at, at the same day, so we have to look good. Uh, it took me at least two hours to pick the right color because again, coming from a very dark tone person, you know, I have to make sure that the color suits me and so on. And again, as a transgender, it's very difficult for you to get a size for you. So <laughs> I had to get a bigger size and I had to send for alteration. And yeah, but uh, it's, it's the color is blue and beige. Yeah, it's very nice, very the bling bling. <laughs> My favorite color is basically, I love dark tone colors, I love blue, I love dark blue, okay, I love black. Most of my clothes, most of my clothes are black actually, because I'm, I'm very con conscious of my skin tone, you know, whether if I wear fairer, fairer color, it will make me look more darker. So, yeah, uh, when it comes to colors, I love earth tone, yeah, earth tone color, brown, as long as it's earthy tone. I love it. This time shoes, I'm not going to waste my money because I'm going to reuse my old shoes because uh, most of the shoes that I, I, I buy, uh, those heels, you know, the, those ones, I don't really wear all the time. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to waste my money for, for shoes and for my handbags. It's, it's, it's just reuse again. I just uh, bought the new um, Lenga, that's the word, a new Lenga and a few accessories just to emphasize uh, me as wearing an Indian costume. It is, it is very difficult for a transgender person, especially like me, who is quite tall and a bit built up, to find sizes when it, when it comes to shoes, clothing and so on, you know, because uh, in Asia, most, most of the sizes are limited to certain sizes. So uh, usually I have to get a bigger size or uh, a size that can fit me, but maybe it doesn't fit me on my shoulder or my thigh, so I have to alter it up. And uh, most often, I would rather get um, get clothes uh, and sew it, sew it in the you know um, sew it by myself or sew it by send to a tailor for uh, <laughs> tailoring. Yeah. So yeah, and even shoes. I mean, uh, the most place I can find a proper shoes for me with my size is in Vinci. Vinci. You know, because that's the only place where you can find bigger sizes, and so. Um, Again, I'm not saying I'm, I'm that big, but, <laughs> but seriously, uh, I think Malaysia should, should start to, to, to get sizes for every woman and every kind of gender. Yeah. Every time when I go to a certain function, I will always ask what kind of function is this? Okay? Is it a dinner function? Is it a casual function or whatever? And um, it depends actually on my body. If I feel that I gain weight a bit here and there, I wouldn't wear something which is open. I'll try to cover it up. If I'm fit up again, if I'm slim back, then I'll, then I'll expose a bit here and there. Not too exposed, but just a bit here and there. My, my mother, she loves to see me dressing actually. You know, whenever I dress, she, she loves to see me makeup. She loves to see me doing my hair, getting, getting ready. And often she's the one that will be helping me to to buckle up my pin from the back, you know, my zip and so on. So so far, I have no comments from my mother and my boyfriend, you know, because they know that I'm I'm very uh, persistent and, and I'm I'm very what do you call it um, detailed whenever when it comes to my clothing because. Uh, not to say that I'm, I'm, I'm a fussy pot, but when it comes to dressing and whatever, I'm very particular. Yeah. Uh, I've been busy like for this whole month preparing for this beauty pageant. And it's been a hectic day for me the whole week. Uh, not enough sleep. <clears throat> Seriously very tired. Uh, and of course, exhausting. Um, but I'm really anxious. I can't wait for the finale, for the final day. Yeah, even, even today, I was rushing from Bukit Bintang and it was raining. I was trapped in the jam and then had to collect a check from a donor who was willing to do, donate us the VVIP tickets for the pageant. 
and I came here again and then there, there was a sponsor who wants to sponsor for the clients for their birthdays. Again, I have to entertain them. And then before that, I have a student coming in from UM. I had to brief them. And now I'm sitting down in my table just trying to fill up some particulars for the pageant. And it's really, it's, it's a hectic day, but besides that, I just can't wait for the finale.